Good morning everyone, I am Philip Bituin and I will be discussing the Linear Profit Analysis Problem 1 under Lesson 2. So as we all know, the primary goal of the business is to earn profit and of course, the business owner is looking forward to run the business in the long period of time. And as you can see, in Problem 1, we have this JC Glass Company produces paper waste for export to Japan. And under this problem, hanapin natin yung mga important points or important amounts para makuha natin yung hinahanap na break-even point at saka yung profit. So first things first, we have this given terms and amounts na kung saan important sila para makompute natin yung break-even point. So, selling price is 125 pesos. Daily salary of worker, 420 pesos. Average daily output per worker is 70. Material cost, 44 pesos. And fixed cost per year, 6 million pesos. Upon computing break-even point, we have this two formula para makuha natin na magagamit natin sa pagkuha ng break-even point. Labor cost is equals to daily salary divided by average daily output. So, our daily salary is 420 pesos and our average daily output is 70. So, 420 divided by 70 is amounting to 6 pesos. So, 6 pesos will be our labor cost, which will be added to the material cost in order to get the variable cost. So, 44 pesos plus 6 pesos is amounting to 50 pesos, which is 50 pesos is our variable cost. Also, as what I've mentioned a while ago, total revenue equals total cost. So, 6 million divided by 125, which is our selling price, minus variable cost is equals to 75 pesos. Dung saan yung 75 pesos na yun, yun ang ating contribution margin ratio. And then, i-divide natin ang CMR sa fixed cost. So, 6 million divided by 75. So, meron tayong 80,000 paper waste na kung saan ito yung ating break-even point. So, that will be the answer to the question 1. After nun, igagaraf natin siya para makita natin kung namit ba ng company yung break-even point nila. So as you can see, total revenue selling price times X na kung saan yung X ay yung number of products na ibebenta nila. Which amounting to 80,000 pesos na kung saan 125 times 80,000 pesos meron tayong revenue na 10 million pesos. Tapos, Sa kabilang banda naman, yung total cost, fixed cost plus variable cost times X, na kung saan yung X nga yung number of products na ibebenta nila. So, 50 pesos times 80,000, meron tayong 4 million pesos, plus fixed cost na 6 million pesos, meron tayong 10 million pesos. So, as you can see sa graph natin, under X-axis, inung number of paper weights natin, na 80,000 pesos. Tapos, sa y-axis naman ay yung amount na 6 million for the fixed cost and 10 million para sa ating total revenue and total cost. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ka nag-produce si company ng 80,000 pesos, meron siyang 10 million pesos na kung saan hindi siya nag-incur ng profit at hindi siya nag-incur ng loss. Kasi, nag-equal yung total revenue sa kanyang total cost. Next, siguro alam naman natin na we have this in mind na pagka nagkocompete tayo ng profit, ito yung total revenue minus cost. Na kung saan, kung ano yung na kung saan, kung ano yung hawak nating pera, na kung saan matapos nating ibawas dun yung mga expenses or yung mga amounts na dapat i-deduct natin, Doon natin malalaman kung nag-earn ng profit ang isang business or nag-incur siya ng loss. So, as you can see, under total revenue, we have this selling price 
times x na kung saan yung x natin ngayon ay hindi na 80,000 kundi 150,000 na. So, 125 times 150,000 pesos. Ang total revenue natin ay 18,750,000 pesos. Tapos, sa total cost naman, variable cost na 50 pesos times x 150,000 meron tayong 7,500,000 pesos. Plus, fixed cost na 6 million, meron tayong 13,500,000. So, revenue minus cost, meron tayong profit na 5,250,000 pesos. And as you can see sa graph number 2 natin, kapag ka si company ay nag benta ng 150,000 pesos, makakalikom siya ng 5,250,000 pesos na kung saan ito yung kanyang profit. Dahil mas mataas yung kanyang total revenue na 18,750,000 pesos sa kanyang naging cost which is 13,500,000 pesos. So, to answer the questions given under problem 1, we have this break-even point amounting to 80,000 and then our profit is now 5,250,000 pesos. So, thank you po. Problem 2. The two sisters, Ked and Willow, have a catering business. They offer a se selection of pasta in the afternoon to college students. At present, They prepare the pasta at their home, which is 10 kilometers away from the school. The average cost per pasta, including the transportation material and direct labor, is approximately 30 pesos. The school has recently offered to lease them a small space on the campus. The rent for this space is 3,500 per month. The two sisters estimate that they will be able to produce the pasta at this new location at an average cost of 25 pesos per serving of pasta. Letter A, we need to find how much servings of pasta in a month do they have to sell in order to be indifferent to the cost of working at home versus working in the space on campus. Letter B, their parents have decided that they are going to charge them 1,000 pesos per month because of the additional out-of-pocket cost. Involved with preparing the pasta at home, electricity, cleaning supplies, what is the new break-even point under the circumstances between working at home and working on campus? For the solution, letter A, the objective is to determine the amount of servings of pasta to sell in order to equate the cost if the two sisters will work home and on campus. For the option 1, working at home, given na yung variable cost per serving, or the VC sub 1 is equals to 30. Why 30? Dahil yung transportation material and direct labor cost is approximately 30 pesos. And yun ay kasama sa variable cost na naka-indicate doon ay yung material cost, direct labor, cost in manufacturing, utilities, directly affecting production, and etc. For the option 2, working on campus, given a fixed cost or the F C sub 2 is equal to 3,500. Saan kinuha yung 3,500? Doon yun sa the rent for this space is 3,500 per month. So, alam naman natin yung rental ay kasama doon sa fixed cost. So, for the option 1, working at home, formula is T C sub 1 is equal to V C sub 1 times X. So, T C sub 1 is equal to yung value ng variable cost na 30X. For the option 2, working on campus, TC sub 2 is equal to F C sub 2 plus V C times X. So, TC sub 2 is equal to yung value ng F C sub 2 natin ay 3,500 plus naka-indicate na ang variable cost doon ay 25 pesos. So, 25 times X. So, to find the break-even point, or yung the volume of sales natin ay total cost is equals to the total cost sub 2. So, 30x yung TC sub 1 natin, and yung value ng TC sub 2 natin ay 3,500 plus 25x. 
So, 30x collect like terms minus 25x is equals to 3,500. So, 30x less 25x is equals to 5x and bring down yung 3,500. So, 5x over 5 and 3,500 over 5. So, 5x divide 5 I x and 3,500 divide 5 ay 700. So, yung value ng x natin ay 700. Yun yung servings of pasta natin per month. And if the amount of total cost sub 1 ay equal dun sa total cost sub 2, we need to substitute x ng 700. Either dun sa total cost sub 1 natin or dun sa total cost sub 2. So, total cost sub 1 is equals to 30x. TC sub 1 is equals to 30. Substitute x sa 700. So, TC sub 1 is equals to 30 times 700 is equals to 21,000. So, 21,000, yun yung value ng total cost sub 1 natin. So, total cost sub 2, 3,500 plus 25 x. 3,500 plus 25, substitute x to 700. So, 3,500 plus 25 times 700 is equals to 17,500. So, the value of TC sub 2 natin is 21,000. Na answer natin ay equal ang TC sub 1 sa TC sub 2 natin. So, answer natin, number of servings of pasta is 700. And yung amount of servings of pasta natin is 21,000. So, for the letter B, the new objective is to determine the amount of servings of pasta to sell in order to equate the cost if they will be charged of 1,000 pesos at home. So, for the option 1, work at home, given ang variable cost natin per servings ay 30 pesos. So, fixed cost sub 1 natin ay 1,000. For the option 2, work at campus, given ang variable cost natin per serving or the VC sub 2 is equals to 25 pesos. So, given ang, first, ang, ang fixed cost sub 2 natin ay 3,500. So, for the option 1, working at home natin, TC sub 1 is equals to FC sub 1 plus VC times X. TC sub 1 is equals to ang value ng FC sub 1 natin, 1,000 plus value ng VC sub 1, 30 and copy X. So, for the option 2, work at campus, TC sub 2 is equals to FC sub 2 plus VC sub 2 times X. So, TC sub 2 is equals to value ng FC sub 2 natin ay 3,500 plus yung value ng VC sub 2 natin ay 25, so copy X. So, break even point is equals to total cost sub 1 ay equal dapat dun sa total cost sub 2. So, TC sub 1 is equals to 1,000 plus 30x equals to doon sa total cost sub 2 natin na 3,500 plus 25x. So, collect like terms, 30x minus 25x is equals to 3,500 less 1,000. 30x less 25x is equals to 5x equals to 3,500 minus 1,000 ay 2, 5. So, 5x over 5 and 2,500 over 5. 5x divide 5 is equals to x. 2,500 divide 5 is equals to 500. X, ang value ng x natin is 500. Yun yung servings per month. So, we need to substitute x to 500 dun sa total cost sub 1 and total cost sub 2. So, total cost sub 1 is equals to 1,000 plus 30x. 1,000 plus 30, substitute x sa 500. So, 1,000 plus 30 times 500 is equals to 15,000. So, ang amount ng TC sub 1 natin ay 16,000 pesos. So, dun sa TC sub 2, 3,500 plus 25x, 3,500 plus 25, substitute x to 500. 3,500 plus 25 times 500 ay 12,500. 3,500 plus 12,500 is equals to 16,000. Makikita natin dito na yung, to, yung, to, yung total ng amount ng TC, TC sub 1 ay equal din sa total amount ng TC sub 2. So, the amount or the number of serving of pasta natin dito is equals to 500 and amount of servings ng servings of this is 16,000 pesos. 
Good day, everyone. So, let's proceed to nonlinear profit analysis. So, in nonlinear function, it is a capital mistake to assume that the increase in production would mean the increase in profit. It would be more realistic for the volume to vary as price increase due to external faction. factors. So, the problem is, the JC Electronic Company produces portable DVD players, the annual fixed cost, is 150,000, the variable cost is 1,000, and then the company selling price of the DVD players is 2,510, and then the selling price is decreased by 10%. So, these are the factors that we need to determine. Represent in your selling price, find the total revenue and total cost function, find the break even point, and determine the loss at the scale of 250 portable DVD players. So let X equals the number of portable DVD players sold. The selling price is equals to 2000, this should be 2510 minus 0.10X, the decrease of selling price times per unit. So total revenue equals 2510 minus 0.10X times X. Total cost equals to 150,000. This is the fixed cost. And then plus the variable cost, the 1,000x. Profit, the formula in profit is total revenue minus total cost. So 2,510x minus 0.10x squared, this one, minus total cost, 150,000 plus 1,000x. So, 2,510x minus 0.10x squared minus 150,000 minus 1,000x. So, bakit siya naging negative? Because negative times positive is equals to negative. So, last, next is we have to arrange it by variable. So, negative 0.10x squared plus... 2510x minus negative 10 1000x equals to 1510x minus 150,000. So, itong profit na tong equation na to, we're going to use this three equation, we're going to use this later. So, next is the break even point. Profit equals loss equals zero. So, ito yung equation na nakuha natin dun sa profit. So, we have to multiply it by negative 10 for, uh, for it to eliminate, for us to eliminate the decimal point. So, negative 10 times negative 0.10x squared equals to x squared. So, this should be 1510x like this. So, negative 10x and then times 1510x equals to 15,100. This should be the 15,100. And then next is plus negative 10 times negative 150,000 equals to positive 1,500,000. 1, so next is we have to factor the given equation. The, equi the factors are 115,000. So, uh, so x times x equals to x squared minus x times 15,000 equals to negative 15,000 x minus uh, next is 100 times x equals to negative 100 x and then negative 100 times negative 15,000 is equals to positive 1,500,000 so x squared minus um, 15, uh, 15,000 plus 100 is equals to negative 15,100 plus 1,500,000. So, that are the factors of this equation. So, another, another, another factoring example. So, x, this is the equation. x squared plus 5x equals plus 6. So, we need to find the factors of both variables. So, 6. 1 times 6 equals to 6. 2 times 3 is equals to 6. So, ang gagamitin natin is 2 and 3 kasi pag 2 plus 3 is equals to 5. So, 
makukuha natin tong equation na to dito sa both sa dalawang variable na to. Next is the yung factors na nakuha natin, we will use that in to determine the break even point. So, yung total revenue yung gagamitin natin dito. We just we have we need just to we are going to substitute the x from the from the two factors. So, if x equals to 100, so 2,510 times 100 minus 0 0.10 times 100 squared. So, 2,510 times 100 equals 251,000 minus 100 squared. 10,000 times times negative 0 0.10 is equals to negative 1,000. So, 251,000 minus 1,000 is 250,000. So, the break-even point is 100 and 250,000. And then, the next, the next variable is 15,000. 15, so, 2,510, same process. Substitute the x to 15,000, so 2,510 times 15,000, 37,650, 37 million 650,000, 15,000 square, 225 million times 0 0.10 is equals to 20,500,000, 20, and then... 37,650,000 minus 22,500 is equals to 15,150,000. So, the break-even point is 15,000,000 sorry, and 15,150,000. So, lastly is the profit. So, if S is equals to 200 port 250 portable DVD players, so profit, ito yung equation na nakuha natin sa first part. So, 0 0.10 x squared plus 1,510 x minus 150,000 is equals 150,000. So, equals to um, substitute the x to substitute 250 substitute x to 250. So, 250 squared plus 1,510. 1, this should be 250, not 150. Minus 150,000. So, well, 0 0.10 times 250 squared is equals to 6,250 6, plus 1,510 times 250 is 377,500 minus 150,000. So, the total, e the total profit is 221,250. So, that is the how to solve the nonlinear profit analysis problem. Thank you.